Good morning. Here's a look at our temperatures from yesterday. I mentioned that some of us may not make their way out of the 60s. And we're looking at highs that only made the mid 60s in some locations over toward uh, Wadena and Bemidji, over into the Wapaton area, only 64 degrees, 71 in Fargo, and 72 our temperature in uh, Grand Fork. So it really was not a warm day yesterday. We'll add some numbers to some higher numbers uh, to our forecast for today. Looking outside, it's quiet. We've got clear skies, 54 degrees in Fargo, 49 and uh, is our dew point, and it's 48. The temperature, actual temperature in Moorhead, 48 degrees. So it's feeling cool this morning. Wind out of the southwest at nine miles per hour. Other places in the 40s, Grand Forks at 48, a chilly 43 in Langdon. Make sure you wear that jacket this morning. In some of these spots, you're going to want to if you're going to be outside for any length of time. 46 in Bemidji and in Thief River Falls, we're at 49. Wind speeds are pretty light. We've got calm conditions in parts of the east over toward the west. We're into the single numbers out of the southwest. So that's a good sign. A southwesterly wind usually is a warming wind for us. And we're looking at clear skies right now. There's some rain and some clouds over in the uh, in the Black Hills, in the Badlands, in South Dakota, that's going to be working its way toward the east northeast gradually today. So we'll be seeing that starting to work its way in. And then there is another system stretching from around the Chicago area and then back into the southwest. We're seeing some rain showers there. Here's your hour by hour planner. We've got those clear skies. Things are looking great for this morning, if not a little cool out at the bus stop. This is 730. Temperatures are going to be in the 40s again at that point in time. So the kids may want to have that extra layer, maybe that car again uh, when they're waiting out for the bus. And then by the noon hour, we're back into the 60s, wind out of the southwest and light. The clouds start to work their way in this afternoon and even a couple of rain showers as well. Temperatures are going to be ranging from the low 70s to the upper 70s this afternoon. So a lot warmer than yesterday by about five degrees or so, maybe even warmer than that, five to 10 in some spots. Now by seven o'clock, we still have those clouds working their way in. So it's gonna be a little bit, a little while. It's gonna take its time uh, for us to see that chance for some rain. And that's especially the case the farther northeast you are, given the direction it's coming in from. So late tonight, we'll see those showers approach the James River Valley, parts of southeastern North Dakota. And then through the overnight hours is when we'll see more of this rain move in. So overnight tonight and into the day on Saturday, uh, people who are tailgating may be running into some uh, thunder showers or even some just rain showers uh, by early morning tomorrow. This is 9 a.m. Still maybe some rain in the vicinity and some thunder too. This doesn't look very impressive as far as intensity on this, but uh, we could see uh, some lightning strikes and some heavier downpours that fall in these storms. By 1230 tomorrow afternoon, some of this moving on, though there will still be some scattered areas of rain going on into the afternoon hours tomorrow. So just be aware of that tailgaters or if you're heading out to the lake, you're not going to have the best day on Saturday. D Sunday looks like the better day for lake weather and temperature is not super warm either. We're kind of taking a step back uh, on those temperatures back into the 60s to the northeast. The rest of us in the low to mid 70s for highs for tomorrow. But all of this clears out. And then we get to enjoy some quiet conditions for late tomorrow night and into Sunday. Gorgeous sunset uh, from the other day. This is in Fox Home, Minnesota. Love that intense orange near the surface there. And then the clouds helping to reflect that. Just a great shot. So here's a look at our planner for the next couple of days. We're going to see temperatures in the 70s, 77 today. And then the rain and thunder showers roll in. And then for Saturday, off and on chances for some rain, especially in the morning, that will be the better bet for getting that rain. So maybe we can get that cleared out of here uh, in time for tailgaters. And then for Sunday, hey, Sunday looks great. Mid 80s, lots of sun. Definitely a good day to be out at the lake and we'll be in the 80s through the week. So here's a look at our high temperatures again from yesterday. I went a little bit too far ahead, but just a good reminder that we're not too far away from fall when our highs in some spots are only in the mid 60s. Uh, it's just such, yesterday was so hard on me. It was just emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, no, so no, I'm not ready and then for Sunday's that. Sunday's going to be in the 80s, so it's you okay. You gotta remember we're that. Okay. Oh, fine. It's not over. <laughs> Fans, the team, just about everybody is ready for the start of the NDSU football season. Just one more sleep. This morning we're live on campus getting you previewed with some uh, very important voices that you will be hearing throughout Bison football season. That's all coming up next.